What is up, LC heads? What's going on? Another day in paradise over here. We are here to talk about... You know what? I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I ain't even going to pull any punches, God damn it. We're here to talk about the full metal letdown. Yes, now I'm only talking about part one. And before I get into it, I'm just going to tell you. If you like Ed, the full metal alchemist, and you want him because he's a fan favorite of yours... Best reason in the world to get him, as far as I'm concerned, might be the only reason in the world. Um, because you probably don't need him. And, uh, hey, if you are just, hey, this is your favorite anime, I fully understand. Totally understand. But for the rest of us, especially for me, who wasn't really that hyped for Ed in the first place, I was actually kind of hoping that we wouldn't get a shift form of Ed. We would actually get, you know, uh, just anything else. Um, that was really already somewhat math for me, but I figured, you know what? If the character is a complete badass, hey, he could be the next big pop of Virgil for all I know. And I didn't know, but I know now. Because <laughs> here he is. So... I mean, there's still reasons to pull him if you want to collect him, if, you know, if you're just psyched about him. Uh, he does have a pretty cool little animation. They did a good job on his uh, metal arm. Um, but I guess let's just start looking at the summary, right? He's got some stun resist. He's weak to headaches. He's got nil to curse and neutral to everything else. He's weak to fire by 20%, strong to earth by 10, strong to uh, thunder by 25 Everything else is neutral, right? He's got 15, 19 strength, so that's a nice starting point. Defense, 13, 29, isn't bad. All right, he's got a pretty decent mind. Uh, not bad. He's pretty tanky, actually. Um, I don't know, though, because comparing him to Vayne, I, who's going to be more tanky? I'm going to have to go with the Big Daddy Vayne here and his sandcastles. Um, just off the top of my head. So, uh, we get into abilities to slow, medium area, earth, combo, attack. They're all going to be earth. Uh, you won't get away. Wide area, long range, earth, combo, attack around the target. Uh, and then, Al. Front, medium area, mid range, earth, combo, attack. His attacks do have decent ranges on them. Like they're not the worst. Uh, and then there's the special. Get up, third string. And this is kind of where I get start getting a little bit disappointed right off rip. Uh, you know, the the special is combo attack to a single target, followed by a powerful earth combo attack to all enemies. So you're going to do some single target, and then it's going to be some AoE. <sighs> Maybe if the special had something attached to it, some kind of stat break, some kind of, oh, I don't know, earth elemental break... Something like that, something that actually gave you a reason to really throw this thing. Because I can tell you right now, one of his traits, the majority of the trait, is giving him the ability to sacrifice 200 MP and throw his special. So, yeah, if the special actually had some sort of status or something along the line of that, maybe he would be more worth it because... Well, you'd have that much more reason to actually throw his special at the very beginning of the fight and wipe out most of his MP. Because here's the thing. I didn't see Goddess Kiss in this guy's kit. So you're going to have to give him that because he's going to want to get his MP back uh, just to use alchemy abilities. He doesn't need skill charge as long as he has MP. But he has no way of getting MP. You're going to have to pay for that. That's a very expensive ability. Right, and when you throw in things like sharp eyes, all of a sudden sacrificing MP to throw some of his skill kit becomes super, super expensive because you're not only paying to use the ability, you are also paying for sharp eyes, right? So, just the MP cost gets pretty high, and you're gonna need to get MP back on him, right? Uh, if we look at the traits. Again, right, we have History's Young Estate Alchemist, which would technically be his little brother, not him, 
Well, he's in the animation too. Uh, special damage cap 15,000 when special gauge is less than 100% and the unit has at least 200 MP left. Use all MP to use special. And that's only once per quest. Excludes arena. When using a skill with alchemy, damage plus 30% and damage cap 10,000. So they are encouraging you to use his skills through alchemy, which means burning his MP. Um, also, I think he... Or maybe it's the arc that's giving you a damage boost to your skill as long as you only have one charge of it, which is like the damn opposite of what apple pie is going to do for you, right? Also, you know, keep in mind, after you drain all your MP, if somebody apple pies you and you start throwing your kit, you're not going to be getting damage plus 30% and damage cap plus 10,000 because you're not using alchemy to access those abilities you're not sacrificing mp um so this guy's mp pool is going to be a big deal mp 301 eh. okay and then we have auto mail when only weapon equipped is one machine that's going to be a problem um specifically for the arc we'll get into that earth skill damage 30 percent and damage cap 20,000. machine equipped strength Defense plus 30%, which is nice. Nullifies strength, defense down, debuffs from active skills, excluding some debuffs. So, uh, double handing a machine is the name of the game here. That's what he's doing, which I guess can still work out with the Trisla pistol. So that way you can ignore resistances if you have to, right? The arc that drops with him kind of plays on that. And it's like, who the hell else is going to do that, right? Most Trisla pistol users are dual wielders, right? Um, so, like, the arc only really helps a a, a double a double hand machiner machinist. <laughs> right? So, uh, eh, eh. Let's look at his skills that he comes with. <clears throat> Ultimate transmutation. Use all MP to give. Oh, sorry. Use all MP to revive all incapacitated allies with 100% hit points and give unit buff that nullifies damage taken equal to 100% of those allies' max hit points only when all other allies are incapacitated once per wave. Because Al is tough, he will be able to kind of use this to bring the party back but it's not going to be the same as like a healer bringing you back and um being able to rely on that this is kind of like a one-shot thing that you're going to be able to do um and i mean i i see kind of see what they did here because al's kind of tanky he's going to have a pretty decent uh chance of being the last character standing so then he can use this and bring everybody back it's just still kind of strange mp up max of course he's going to have that he's going to need it fighting spirit heroism up three crit up two advanced aim vitals proud force royal armor soldier mastery is nice auto brave life brave auto crit earth drive earth mega drive earth attack rise three so uh pose of honor blessed speed favorite sword that's right, because it's only one weapon, not a sword. Favorite sword should just be called favorite machine for him. Here's two-handed machine. Two-handed machine, too, which is nice. This is very nice, right? Uh, that's definitely new. Machine high boost, machine mega boost, some armor hit point plus, ultimate boost three, giant killing two. And then we get into the custom stuff. Alchemy, when a skill stock is zero, consume MP to use the skill. Consumed MP differs based on the skills SCT. State Alchemist, MP consumed by alchemy minus 20%. So that's nice because you're going to be starving for MP anyway. You're outclassed. Damage plus 20%. Damage cap 2k to boss monsters. Uh, when re's maintenance, when hit points here hits zero, auto revive and recover hit points 100% and MP 20% once per wave. So this is going to help ensure that you're probably going to be the last one surviving and you can use his little uh, ultimate transmutation to bring the party back and have a chance, right? 
Uh, the Portal of Truth, Continuous Haste, and Advanced Magic Circles effect. He really needs that Advanced Magic Circles, and it's nice to have Haste in here for free. Uh, Al's Protection, Battlestar, give all allies high protection. That's cool. High protection for everyone is cool. And Hide Inside, when taking lethal damage, survive with one hit point until that attack ends. So, between Hide Inside and Al's Protection, and he's going to be pretty tanky. And he's probably going to be around to throw the ultimate transmutation. It's it's cool. It's, it's cool. It gives you a different uh, take on bringing your party back without necessarily having to have a healer there. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not a huge fan of so much of his trait potential being wasted on wasting 200 MP to throw his special. Um, they just could have done more, I feel like. We looked at the skills, right? Uh, and just to kind of add insult to injury to part one, because it's like, hey, maybe I might not want the character. Okay. Uh, but hey, there's still an arc in the mix, right? There's got to be some good stuff in that arc. It's got to be, right? Well, 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 maybe... <laughs> Maybe if you're Al. Okay. Here's the arc. Arc trait. Boost skill power based on how low skill stock is. Which is just not going to help you with apple pie. Right? It's only going to help you on your last skill stock. Um, as skill stock one or less. But for somebody sacrificing MP for alchemy to... Uh, to throw their skill kit, that's going to do great for them because they're going to get plus 30% damage for every single alchemy skill used because technically your skill power base is lower than one while you're using alchemy, right? One or less, yep. Machine equip, damage taken, minus 15%. That's nice. When an ally other than the unit takes lethal damage, very greatly restore that ally's hit points and give them a defense mine plus 35% buff once per wave. So, uh, yeah, it's adding some utility to your mage that's going to die first or your wimpiest character. It's giving him a little bit of damage reduction, and it's going to give him that plus 30% to damage specifically when he's using... Uh, those alchemy abilities and paying a ton of magic points in order to uh, use his skill kit. So, okay, well, this arc is made specifically for the character that, well, I'm not that excited about. But hey, th there might be an awesome arc ether reward here. What do we have here? The family portrait. Six star, okay, that's a good star, yeah. Hit points 400, MP 30, mind 68, continuous metis effect. No attributes, no ailments. Yeah, Adis, you might want to bust the eraser out and take a star off of this one. Eh. So, okay, no, no sweet arc ether reward that I would really be that interested in. But that's okay, because obviously... This thing's just going to have some bomb-ass skills in here to be able to teach my other units to take advantage of. Clearly, that's what all this is. That's the road that this is all leading down, obviously. We're just going to have some of the best abilities in the world in here just to make up for some of this half-ass nonsense. So, uh, we got some magic defense up. Okay. Wind circles. All right. Soul bind. Okay. Here's a new one. Soul bind. Allows equipping of armor. Oh. Armor equipped. Physical damage taken minus 10%. It's actually not bad. It's not, not anything to break the damn bank over, but if you couldn't equip armor, you can equip armor now, and you take damage minus 10%. Here's the thing. It, it is nice for 5SC to take physical damage taken minus 10%. You could argue that for some heroes. Now, this is really worth it if you can't equip armor. Because this is going to let you equip, equip armor and give you that minus 10% damage taken. For 5SC, if you need to equip armor, this is a good way to go. It really is. What's next, though? A new Lamette? Okay. 
right? Nothing, nothing great there. Two-handed machine boost. Oh boy. When only weapon equipped is one machine. Physical attack and special damage 10%, damage cap 3k. Again, this is only going to be helping Ed, right? <laughs> Who else is just double handing one machine? So that's like, okay, this is literally made for the character that I'm not that excited about. But wait, there's more. Alchemist too young? When an ally is incapacitated, give unit defense plus 30% buff. Now, at least this last one for 7 SC, like, cool, I could put that on my Ruto. I could put that on a tanky character and just make them go super tank when somebody dies and he needs to bring them back. In fact, Ruto is probably the first person I would teach Alchemist too young to. But, again, this isn't anything to break the damn bank over. It's nothing that freaking exciting. So, for me, this one's a wash, boys and girls. So don't expect any videos of me running Ed and doing a review on him, checking out his skills, because I'm just not even going to pull for him. And I honestly never thought this would happen in Last Claudia. I'm typically down to try to collect all of the collab heroes, but I just feel like they have left so damn much on the table here that uh, I feel no need. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would at least do the daily pull every day if there was something besides defense 30% to give to Ruto on the arc. Anything. Um, <laughs> you know, and a six star that should be a five star trust master reward. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully, Full Metal Alchemist is just, you know waiting for part two to drop to actually rock the casbah that's i mean maybe part two is just going to be so wicked freaking strong maybe it's going to be big papa virgil 2.0 but uh part one definitely is not <laughs> so so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be holding out for part two i think you should too most likely unless you really like this hero um, and I've watched some other videos that some people have done showcasing this hero already. They've been working on him. And when I voiced my concern, well, they all seem to agree with me. So I don't think I'm the only one feeling like this about part one, the full metal letdown, <laughs> right? <laughs> only part one, only part one. Like we, you know, uh, we don't know anything about part two. Part two might not be a letdown. I'm actually really hoping that it's not, right? Uh, I would have really liked to be able to get some of the homunculi as as characters, and that's really what I was hoping for, but the part two hero is going to be the, the king of Bloody Blue, whatever his title is, and let's hope he's more exciting, all right? Um, I do believe somebody said he was ice, and dark damage. I don't know. Sounds cool. Definitely sounds more interesting than what I'm looking at here. So that's what your boy's doing. A whole lot of nothing. Waiting for part two. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if I completely missed something here, but I think I've painted quite the little picture. So, uh, yeah, if you agree, if you disagree, if I'm totally wrong, leave me a comment. Let me know. Share with the class. We'd all like to know. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I pulled any punches and of course this is all just IMO and I did say that if, if you like this hero That's the best reason in the world to pull this hero who gives a shit what I think At the end of the day It's about what makes you happy, right? So I'm just putting my two cents in and hell who knows my two cents might only be worth a penny sometimes Anyway, if you appreciate any of the hard work that I put into all this stuff well, you can like the vid. Hell, you can even throw me a sub. And I will see you on the flip side.